In this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to throw a bowl on the wheel. Hi, Marie here, back with another informative video for you. As a new potter, making bowls is one of the easiest techniques. After all, the spin of the wheel can accidentally turn anything into a bowl. I'm going to show you how to stop making accidents and make a bowl on purpose every time. And it's easier than you think. Once you learn the technique of throwing a bowl, it's going to get easier and easier. And the bowls are going to get bigger and bigger. All the supplies needed are listed for you in the description below. Let's start throwing. As you can see, the clay is already centered. If you're having any trouble centering, I have two centering videos for you in the links below. For this demonstration, I have two pounds of Amico 11 Amix Stoneware White Clay. This is a nice smooth clay that's easy to work with. I'll be making the bowl about four inches high and six inches across. Let your thumbs find the center. The spinning of the wheel will draw your thumbs in the center. Now, press down. If you feel any friction, add more water to your clay. Once your thumbs can't go any further, take your index finger and your middle finger, place your anchor hand on the side, and continue to open your clay. a little further down. Stop to check the thickness with your needle tool. Stick the needle tool in the bottom and place your finger on the needle tool next to the clay. This shows how much clay is on the bottom. I'm trimming the bottom so I'll leave at least a half an inch of clay. That looks good. Introduce more water. Oops, not that much more. Introduce more water. and bring out your base. That looks good. Now compress the bottom before pulling up the walls. You don't want your wheel to go too fast or too slow. Right in between is good. Pull your walls straight up first to form a cylinder. This keeps the walls stronger longer. You can use a thin sponge with a little water. This gives you a little more control over the clay. Your outside fingers are going to be pushing up the clay while the inside fingers are going to be guiding the clay upward. Medium speed. Any new viewers to the channel, feel free to introduce yourself down below in the comments section. Your questions and comments are always welcome. Compress the rim. When introducing water on the inside, squeeze your sponge on your finger 
so the water cascades down onto the side of the cylinder and slowly spin the wheel. And introduce it on the outside also. As you're pulling up the walls, you want to lighten the pressure of your fingers as you get to the top area. This should be thicker so you have enough clay when you expand to form your bowl. After every two or three pulls, remove the water and compress the bottom and the rim. This helps to keep the clay stronger by compressing the clay particles together and stopping the water from penetrating and weakening your clay. Now you can introduce more water and See how the clay is thicker on the top? Compress your rim. One more time. Make sure your wheel rotates at least once around before moving your fingers up. Oops. And compress your rim. That extra water out from time to time. Now that we have the height, we can push outward on the inside with your fingers while supporting on the outside. And you don't have to do this in one pull. Of course, professionals do. Get that. There we go. Notice how the rim is getting thinner. enough clay. Get the extra water out. What's your favorite thing to throw? You can let me know in the comment section below. Mine are actually bowls. I like the different sizes and shapes and thickness of them. And you can make berry bowls and all kinds of different bowls. Compress the rim. Let's do it again.
That's a nice size bowl. Consistent now throughout, nice and even. Press the bottom, get rid of all that water. You can choose a soft rubber rib or a metal scraper and a smoothing sponge to get rid of any slip and smooth out your bowl. I'm going to use the metal scraper. Gently place your sponge inside as you're rotating your wheel slowly and press the metal scraper up against your bowl. Finger two. Now compress the rim. I have a little piece of chamois to smooth out the rim. Get rid of any extra clay on the bottom with the modeling tool. Now that's a nice size bowl. Now that you've learned how to throw a bowl, you can make a mixing bowl, a yarn bowl, a berry bowl, and a baby bowl. Make sure you leave your questions and comments down below. You watching helps me to make more videos like this one. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already share with a friend, and hit the bell icon to get notified whenever I upload a new video. Now you can head on over to how to make a yarn bowl and how to make a berry bowl. If you do, I get to play with more clay. Let's stay dirty 